Okay, you guys, I've got another box for you, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you if you're here for this unboxing, congratulations, because my other two have just been just terrible. Um, okay, this one is from Viscosense, and I'm not really sure how this unboxing is going to go, because I will go ahead and tell you how I feel about this. Okay, so this box, it's a large order, and large order, I'm going to go ahead and just be honest and tell you this over a $100 order. Um, this is my, which, oh, I, I, I don't spend that much money on this stuff. I mean, that's, that's a large order. Um, even when you demo on YouTube, that's, that's a ridiculous order. So, um, this is the second time I've ordered from Visca. And I liked their products. And... So I thought that I would try some more of them and I'd even reorder one or two things that I got last time. This box took seven weeks and three days to get here. Okay, um, so I looked back at my last unboxing from them and <clears throat> it took, I think I, I said four weeks, it took a month. And at that point they said their turnaround time was seven to 10 days. So I think I was a little interested last time that it took about, um, you know, almost double the time it said that it would take to get here. And this time they were up front. They said, you know, our company has, has grown very quickly and thank you so much. And, you know, we're just really, really busy and just please be patient. Our turnaround time is about four weeks. And, you know, that's about the turnaround time I had last time. So I was like, sure, you know, totally understand that. I get it. You're busy. You know, these people aren't machines, right? And I've got other stuff coming in, you know, frequently. So it's not like if I don't have this, I don't have any bath products. So the fifth week rolls around and the sixth week rolls around. And so finally I send an email and I'm just, you know, I want to check and make sure that, my, you know, your order doesn't fall through the cracks or anything and that they're working on it. And I just wanted to know, you know, an estimated shipping time. And I didn't really get the answer I was looking for. It was kind of an open-ended answer. And I wasn't really pleased with that. <clears throat> but I just thought, okay, well, let's just see what happens. Because one of the things that I do on here is kind of to tell you guys what my experience is so you can know maybe what kind of experience you can expect with a company. Okay, so the next week rolled around, and I sent another email because I said, okay, this is, we're in the seventh week of me spending over $100 and you having my money and me not having any product. And I I was nicer than that in my email, and I said, so if I'm not, if I don't get it shipped soon, it's going to be eight weeks before it gets here at least, and I did get an answer saying, it's checks in the mail tomorrow, promise, <laughs> so honestly, they did ship it out the next day, but I did have to send two emails, and so the turnaround time that was um, predicted ended up to be pretty much double. Well, <clears throat> funny thing is... The day they said it shipped, the day I got my tracking, my tracking number, I started seeing lav lavish boxes unboxed on YouTube. And I tell you what, they had, um, they have a lotion in this July lavish box and it flew all over me. I really, I tell you what, it flew all over me because, <sighs> it flew all over me because there should have been some other information given out. And I know that what's in those boxes is under wraps and, you know, you know, both parties aren't going to say, hey, you know, we're halting production because we're going to be in the next upcoming lavish box. But nothing was even remotely said. They did not shut down. They shut down taking orders maybe, maybe not even two weeks before I got my box. So I feel like that whoever ordered, I ordered on June 5th and I just got this box two days ago. So <clears throat> I feel like all their actual customers were kind of pushed back so they could be in the lavish box. And it just, it honestly, it made me really, really upset. Um, <clears throat> so um, I just don't like how that was handled because I deal with so many companies on a regular basis and the customer service and the transparency of your products being made, the production and all that stuff is just incredible. And, you know, they did get back to me quickly, but 
I just don't know how I feel about it. And you're sick of me talking, so let's get in the package. But I will tell you, and I try to be fair, and I try to be honest, if this stuff is liquid gold and I can't live without it, it'll be worth the two months. It will be worth three months. I just want to know what's going on with my order and why you have my hundred and something dollars for two months and I don't have any products. That being said, I apologize. I guess that kind of sounded like a rant, but just kind of had to let you know because if I show you this stuff and I say, oh, it's great and I love it and their turnaround time is four weeks and you don't get it for two months, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm responsible for not giving you all that information. So anyway, let's get into the box. <clears throat> okay, now my favorite product last time that I got from them was, were their loofah soaps. And my daughter and I, we both just can't live without them. I'm into the sugar scrubs now and things like that. But in the shower, um, I love the loofah soaps. And so we ordered several of these. They're all in kind of fruity, tropical fragrances. And this is the Jamaica Me Crazy. This one is the Alive. I don't have the scent list in front of me because they're just very extensive. And I just had to look up a whole, whole lot of, of uh, information. Um... Uh, this one's for my daughter. It's not, it's not quite as fruity. She, we don't like necessarily the same scents. Okay, Twisted Mango. This one's going to be for me. The Velvet. I think this one is like a red velvet cake. Mm, that smells good. And this is the Trail of Breadcrumbs, which is the Fruity Pebbles in the Vanilla Cupcake, which is a reorder. I got this last time, so I just ran out of my last one. And so I ordered that one again. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here's another. Okay, Sweet Fang. Mm, that smells good. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty colors. Really pretty colors. Okay, so yeah, we did we did a lot. Went heavy on the loofah soaps. And for some reason, it looks like we got another one, but this one's not packaged the same. I don't know why, but... Mm. Smells pretty good. Tropical. They're all tropical, but they all have some different kind of fruits in them. And, you know, they're all little variations of, you know, tropical, different tropical and fruity scents like that. So, anyway, so that looks like those are all of my Lufa soaps. <clears throat> now, um,. There's some samples in there. We'll save that for last. Okay. Um, okay. So they had, they didn't really have any bath bombs or any kind of anything like that last time I ordered. And now they've started to get into, um, like they have bath crumble. They have got a lot of products. They've really developed an extensive line and a really extensive scent list. Another reason why I do know that they take, they have a long turnaround time is because they do custom scents. So when you have somebody who orders 10 different things, and every single item is a custom scent, I know that takes a while. I mean, I, I really don't think I'm unreasonable, but I, you know, I, I understand all this. Anyway, so this is the bath crumble, and um, this is, you know, get off my lawn. It's supposed to smell like fresh cut, freshly cut grass. It's very interesting. Um, <clears throat> That looks pretty cool. This is not for me. This is for another member of my family whom I cannot mention anymore in my videos. Y'all might know who I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is the Strawberry Shaken Soda Bath Crumble. Now, another thing about this company is they have, and I got a couple of these products. They have, um, ooh, look at that. That's a pretty color. They have um, an infused line with um, CBD, hemp, whatever that is that some companies do now. And I wanted to try that because I've heard a lot about it and it's supposed to be good for, you know, chronic pain, inflammation, things like that. <clears throat> so um, this is infused and that is the difference, I think, between these two packages is that this is just the regular line, and this is the infused. So I will definitely let you guys know what I'm feeling like as far as my achy joints and my bad back and all that once I get out of this bath. So I'm really, really looking forward to using this. <clears throat> okay, and the Trail of Breadcrumbs Whipped Soap. So 
I want to see what their whipped soap is like. Because, ooh, look at that pour. That's great. That is great. The only one I've tried so far is the, that's, that's a nice scent, is the, um, the Candy Panda. That's a really, that's a really, really nice size. And this, this is how I got funny. If you've seen my last unboxing, you know that this, um, scent that was in the last October lavish box is how I found this company because they had been in it before. <clears throat> So anyway, um, looking forward to trying that. And, okay, so I put that soap back in there. Okay, so I don't think, oh, wax melts, oh, good Lord. Okay, I thought those maybe were some extra bath bombs they threw in there, but good grief. <laughs> okay, um, maybe I'm not familiar, maybe I'm just used to the little bitty, little bitty, um, <clears throat> little plastic containers of wax, but, Oh my gosh. And that's what it smells like. How long does it take you to use this much wax? Good Lord. Okay, well these are really pretty and they smell really good. So I, I guess I ordered the trail of, bra the trail of red crumbs wax melts, but I wasn't expecting to get anything this size. And then, so this looks like maybe a little sample. Oh, bubblegum wax. Okay, well, you know I like that scent, so let's... Mm. It smells like bubblegum, but it's not super strong. So we'll try that. That's nice. <clears throat> and then the other thing I got, the only other thing I got, this is their, um, they call it the Topical Salve, and it looks like, you know, it's like a big chapstick or a little deodorant. And this is infused too. And I got this for my mother and this is unscented. I got this for her because she has really, really bad migraines. So, I mean, you know, there's very little that helps in migraine, but I thought, you know, what the hell? We'll just get this for her and maybe she puts it on her temples and rubs it in. You know, we'll, we'll see if that does anything for her headache or anything. Maybe she could put it on anything else that might be sore and um, she can report back to me maybe what she thought of this. But, um... I think a lot of people, I th okay, you push it up through the bottom, whoop, okay, that's how you do it. Um, I think these are pretty popular with them now, and obviously you can get these in any scent as well, just like anything on their site, you can get in any scent and custom scents. So, um, they pretty much let you do whatever whatever you want with the products, which is really nice, I mean, that's, that's very liberal. So, anyway, that's what I've got from Visca, and you know, I'm going to let you guys know I'm going to use the bath crumble really soon. I know I like the loofah soaps. I'm very interested about this, uh, the topical salve. And then um, how the wax compares to um, my Candy Panda. And I just ordered from another wax company. I don't recall the name right off the top of my head. But anyway, um, let me know. I want to know if you guys have ordered from this company. Or if you've had any of their products. Even if you've gotten any in the lavish box. I want to know what your opinion is of these products and um, if you've had any experience with them at all. So, um, I don't know, just let me know what you think. I appreciate you watching this unboxing. Thank you as always, and I've got a couple of bath bomb demos going up soon, hopefully. Um, I'm having a few technical difficulties, but other than that, I will have a couple demos up soon. Thank you guys for watching. Love you, bye-bye.